Alright everybody, this video I'm going to show you how to make a Donair pizza. I've already got my bread, or my dough, stretched out and on my pan. I'm going to have a swig of my uh, home brew. And in case you're wondering, I'm drinking my uh, pumpkin pale ale that uh, Jake and I made. Mug, courtesy of my son, which he made himself, which is really good. Anyways. We've got uh, some Donair meat I bought from a friend of mine's store. If you're in Coal Harbor or Dartmouth, Ronnie's two for one. Best Donair meat in Dartmouth. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as stores go. So we're just going to layer it on here. And uh, we don't want to put it too thick, but we also want it to you know, be laying flat as well. Uh, there's no pizza sauce on, on this dough, although you can do it if you want pizza sauce. Um, I find it adds just a, a little too much. My wife prefers to have pizza sauce on hers. But we're just going to spread this out here. Try and keep it as flat as we can because we don't want the meat you know popping up all you know from underneath the cheese. In most pizza stores, you can just walk in and say, "Yeah, can I get you know a couple of dollars worth of meat?" Um, mind you, if you saw my Donair video, it's actually cheaper uh, to make your own Donair meat. But if you're making pizza, it becomes really time-consuming when you're, you know, making your own meat and then making all the dough and everything. Okay, so next step is we're going to put on some onions, and we'll just. Sprinkle these all around here. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna put on some cheese. We're gonna try and go lightly on this again. I know people love their cheese, and from working in restaurants, people love ordering extra cheese. But uh, really. You, a nice pizza has just got a light cheese topping on it, you know. There we go, just like that, it's all spread around, and then we're just going to grab some tomatoes. Um, you know, some restaurants usually put the onions and tomatoes on after it's cooked. Uh, it's totally up to, you know, your personal preference. Uh, I don't mind it either way. My kids would rather have the, the onions and tomatoes cooked, but uh, that's it. Uh, it's ready for the oven. Uh, basically, cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, like I've mentioned in my other videos, and uh, we'll come back when it comes out. All right, let's get that pizza out of the oven here. There's our Donair pizza. Oh boy, doesn't that look good? Make sure we turn our oven off. And we'll get the pizza up in the view where you can actually see it. Oh, wow. This looks incredible. So, give it a slice. My kids are all sitting here patiently waiting. They all want a piece. The most pizza places around here They'd put the Donair sauce on it right now, but uh, you know, typically in our house, we're just gonna leave the sauce off on it, and uh, we'll add the sauce as we have our slices. So, if there's anything uh, that you'd like to see, or if there's a pizza recipe that uh, you know that you'd like to try but aren't sure what ingredients are in it, just send me a message in my inbox and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it's free um, I always have different interesting cooking videos and beer videos and everything so uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'm gonna end the video now so I can get eaten cuz wow this pizza is smells incredible and I can't wait to get into it so cheers <laughs>